Between the time when the oceans drank Atlantis and the rise of the sons of Arius, there was an age undreamed of. And on to this, Conan, destined to bear the jeweled crown of Aquilonia upon a troubled brow. It is I, his chronicler, who alone can tell thee of his saga. Let me tell you of the days of high adventure. Champions, chapter 7 of Skulls and Shadows. Um, quick recap where we left off on day 13 in the day, daytime of this game. Um, is that you had went to um, what you had found is the Caravan of the Hawks um, resting place. Uh, they had put their uh, tents up next to the wall in Shoshan, just like you did, only in a different spot. Um, for those who don't remember... The Company of the Hawk is a slaving company who, A, attacked you on the road um, outside of Shishan, and also um, could or could not have um, Kagan's sister as a slave. They do have, however, Piter as a slave. That is absolutely for sure. Uh, and you know that because... Um, he was brought out in a deal uh, that was being attempted to be made uh, in front of you. And that was for the hunting princess Lamusi. Hey, none of you have ever seen Lamusi before or know what she looks like. Um, but who you did see definitely did look like uh, a punton, um, for that m for that much, at least. She did claim to be Lamusi. She did claim that she was going to have her father kill everyone, etc. Um, the two that were trying to sell him are others, other caravan guards of yours. Um, Dykus and I believe the other one's name is Oscar. And they um, apparently wanted to um, sell Lamusi for, in exchange for Piter. Uh, you don't really understand that. Um, apparently, the slave master did not either, um, because he said as much. Um, so, where we left off, there was a negotiation for the purchase of Piter. Varus was trying to buy him, and uh, the slave master, with the introduction of Lamusi, jacked up his prices. He also might have uh, noticed Melek. Um, from the attack on the road, and uh, he um, increased his his uh, increased his price for Piter. And uh, instead of kowtowing to that price, Varus um, extended his left hand and then <laughs> attacked with his right hand. 
Um, and Harun, seeing this kind of go down, prepared his weapon to maybe um, defend himself or perhaps make sure that someone doesn't escape again. Yeah, he ready to throw his dagger. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so we're going to jump right into combat here. Um, let me uh, switch the scene for you guys. We'll do a little role play as we... It's been an honor serving with everyone. <laughs> hey, uh, Aki, can you disconnect and reconnect? You've got like some sort of uh, static coming from you. Oh, yeah, let me, uh... let me see. Yeah, while he's doing that, I'm going to actually turn my air conditioner off because it's loud down here in the basement. <laughs> yeah. Is that better? So far. Alright, cool. Well, yeah, my doc didn't tell you he's gonna have to, to dig through to get to the other side of his basement compound to turn that <laughs> off. <laughs> Got the Bill Gates tunnel set up. And just so you know, what I'll do is I'll probably go left to right for everyone. Um, you guys should make sure you guys have two fortune because I know someone might have spent something um, mm -hmm. last time. So make sure you have your two because everybody started with two. I was going to say, are we going to... Because I remember last time we left off with him about to throw the dagger for his ready to action. Yeah, you, they, you guys will go. To... You guys will go. Okay, cool. Um, as on your turn and um, your surprise... Uh, will have uh, some mechanical effects, but when I do when I do them and you, I'm gonna go left or right since there's so much stuff here, mm -hmm. um, just so we can keep track of everything as best we can. Sounds good. Okay, where? I don't think I've ever used my fortune because I don't even know where to find it. So, um, it's on your character sheet. Let's see. Yeah. I mean, if you've never used it, it's probably there still. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, 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 I don't think I've ever used it, so I'm going to assume that it's still two fortune points that are there. Um, where is it? Let's see. Uh, it is, so it is above your wounds and trauma, and that's, that's uh, by yep. click. Click, so. Yep. Oh, okay, yeah, I see it, I see it. Okay. I can't remember, is the, is the baseline two and then you can change it, or is it three? It's ba baseline and three, and then you can lower it and yeah. add, okay. and everybody, everybody chose to do that. At That's two what two. I thought, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, I was yeah. like, hey, did I? <laughs> That's yeah. why I didn't know where it was, because I've, I've never been to that wounds or trauma section, so. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard, wow. <laughs> nice. Uh, Knock on wood. I know. I'm, just, yeah, I'm, just, I'm tempting fate oh, now. Because <laughs> yeah, uh, if there was ever a time. Yeah. All right, so let's um let's see how much we have in the pool here. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to grab you there. Um, two momentum, eight doom. Um. Now remember, in Conan, momentum does go away each round. So sometimes I've been kind of not following that um but i will hear so if you don't use your momentum um in a in a round it will go away you lose one every round so keep that in mind that's um, mm -hmm. something that is unique to conan that does happen so um let's get started um varus uh you reach out your left hand to shake it and thorn looks down at it and as he goes to reach out his own left hand, what do you do? Uh, draw a sword and swipe at him. And then oh. yell out, uh, Arun, kill him. And he, hopefully he knows who I'm talking about. And okay. we're, we're, in, we're in earnestly at this point. Okay, go ahead. I'm, assu I'm, I'm assuming I won't get my squad bonus because they're not... That's correct. Okay. But he has no weapon out. Um, so he does not have a... He cannot parry. Uh, I will... Since we've got we've got it, I will use one momentum. 
Rip. Since I'm not very good at my job. Oh, that was dumb. I guess I was rolling the damage of one. Um, I don't know why this didn't go with sword, but whatever. Just, um... Yeah, so damage. Damage four. Uh, torso hit. So let me see this guy's armor. Uh, that's two. So, um, two damage. Yeah, I'm not gonna spend any more. Okay, but that's two momentum gained, right? No. No, because he he rolled the melee skill instead yeah, of the actual sword. Um, so, um, basically, you... How does that look? How do you hit him? So I, I bring the sword out for a swipe across. Maybe he catches it at the last second. That's why I don't connect cleanly just to ruin his life. But I swipe it across and just cut him across his chest. It's... He, like, staggers back. What are you doing, you fool? Kill them! Um, what would you like your minions to do? Squat up on me. Okay. Jasper, do with me. Feel free to move him into you. Okay, now we're going left to... Uh, actually, we'll do her rune next. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. Um, let me... Because we finished off with him having done the observation and stuff already, so that was all good to go. Yep. Um, let me see. So all it comes down to is the dagger throw. Let me see. Got. We've got one. Use it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, we got one in there, yeah. <laughs> We've got more than one, don't we? No, we no. have one now. I use one. Oh. Okay. And I did, I sucked, so. <laughs> Let me see. Alright, so. It's got. Just making sure I have all my things set. Hmm. Alright, here it goes. <laughs> one all right now i'm gonna have to uh i can use one doom for momentum yeah um or can i to give me a you're you're wanting to give me doom to yeah because um, i uh, i can't actually trigger my thing because we don't have two momentum <laughs> let me see i don't well, i don't I can't remember because mm. I feel like that's something we did at some point, but I don't know that to you can do book. that. I don't think so. I don't think so. No. Let me see. If I'd known that, I wouldn't have used the momentum. Oh, uh, it's no problem. Yeah, I didn't realize you used it. <laughs> um, but no. Um, yeah, I'll use my fortune point. So that'll be three instead of one. So you're using your fortune point to add two successes? Yeah, basically. Yeah. It okay. adds a... Uh, yeah. Okay. So cool. three successes so, that generates... Mm -hmm. um, you are in the same, so that actually generates two momentum. Yep, and then I'll use that two to trigger assassin to max it to... I forget how much it is. I think it's 12, right? For dagger. Yeah. So maxes it to 12. Yeah. Yeah, what, what is your, um, what is your two, um, um how, how many dice did you roll for damage? Um, it's six, and yeah, um, so that'd be twelve. Got, yeah, yeah, because it's got the unforgiving, which is uh, the vicious. So yeah. Um, or no, it would be uh, heck, it's not twelve. It's uh, because it'd be three per, wouldn't it? Because vicious one, so they all um, count as effects. So, uh, or, yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 so two per. Yeah, sorry. Um, and then it is, of course, lethal as well, so it does an extra on top of that. 
uh, an extra damage, so extra, 13 damage. Yeah, an extra oh, wound. A wound. So uh, that's it, intense, right? It gives right? him a wound, it gives him an additional wound. Yeah. You, intense, yeah. right? You're saying. Yeah, uh, uh, unforgiving. Yeah, intense. Yeah, unforgiving is intense and vicious. Yeah. It is also too armor piercing because of having prepped for it. Yeah, he doesn't Jeez. have any armor on. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Let me make sure. So, 12. Okay, so that's 2, 3. Um, two, three, four wounds. So, um, this, it, it doesn't look like it kills him, but what, what happens is he falls to the ground. Alrighty, let me describe that yeah so um Harun was like ready and waiting and he uh had his fine bronze dagger all set to go and as everyone kind of reacted to the chaos over by Varus the dagger just sailed past the guards and slipped pretty heftily into his neck yeah so it catches him in the side of the neck and he kind of grabs at it ah, 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 ah. And like falls to his knees and then slumps to the ground. You're not sure. Um, it wasn't a perfect throw to the neck, but pretty close. Mm-hmm. Um, it would be tough for him to survive without aid. That's that's clear. Um, Malik, why don't you go next? So, Varus takes a swipe at Thorin there, and Malik throw or uh, Harun throws his dagger at Peter, and. I'm sure Oscar is looking at like what's going on and Melek turns to catch his eyes and locks eyes with him. Uh, his hand was already on his sword and he just pulls it out of the scabbard and when he does, he pulls it right across him, uh, across his uh, chest. Okay. Row it up. Whoa, where am I? You moved all the way over there. I don't know why. There you go. I moved you back. Um, all right. Two. Uh, it's a momentum gain of one. Uh, five damage. Um, so that's a right leg. So that's going to be um, three damage. Use that momentum, boy. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and and uh, use uh, some momentum to, as I sweep it across his chest, as it, as I feel it sticking to it, you know, cutting the, cutting the front of his chest, like, or his leg, I catch it, I push the blade in just a little further and use that momentum to increase damage. Using them both of them? Um, or one of them, I mean? Yes, one of them. You can yeah. re-roll those, those uh, fails. Yeah, because you're not going to give him a wound. Uh, oh, oh, I have one, two, oh, I have three. Yeah, I'll do yeah, that. You can, for one yeah. dice, for one momentum. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Triple twos. Here we go. <laughs> ah. Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> Same thing, so. <laughs> so still just adding one die, one damage. Mm-hmm. So he slikes it across his chest, he staggers back slightly. Kagan? temples are going to start throbbing as he remembers being swarmed in the last or the first fight. <laughs> he hears a lot of commotion coming from behind the tents. These three have a series in front of him. He's going to move behind the safety and confines. Oh my god, all these damn macros. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what my guy got like all twisted up in that. No, yeah, mine mine was really weird earlier when I clicked it the first time it auto moved him for some reason, so I just switched it back. You guys it's aren't roll twenty savvy enough. <laughs> it's gonna move to the confines by Haroon. Mm-hmm. And he's going to fire a shot at the slave guard. Point blank. My God. 
Uh, we don't have any momentum, correct? No. No. Generate one momentum. Stop moving. I will reroll three dice. Oh, baby. Nice. There you go. So that kills him. <coughs> How does that look? Basically, it's just a simple. He ducks and swiftly moves behind and interweaves himself in between. Pops up beside Haroon, doesn't say anything, but immediately sees the guy in front of him, draws back and shoots, and it clutches right to the femoral. And he dips down to the ground and he basically kicks and breaks the, 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 the haft of the arrow off to aggravate the wound even further. Um, I will spend a fortune point to take another action. Okay, you can do that. And I will... Is it a full action? You get your freebies and all that stuff too? Um... Let me see what it says. Yeah, I'm gonna... Bonus action. Perform an additional standard action. Hmm. Yeah, so you don't get your minor. Okay. Well, I will shoot another arrow at the slave guard past him. Okay. And what? There, uh, there's one momentum in the pool now? Mm, no. No, I think it's zero. Yeah, it's going down to zero. It. He generated one, though. Yeah, you generated one and used it. And used it to take a second action, huh? No, I used a fortune point. Yeah, no, his, but you, his you used, you used it to... Talents, right? Oh, okay. You're right. So you have one. You're right. Yeah, my rerolls comes off of marksmanship. Mm-hmm. Got you. Uh, I, will, I will use that on the roll to hit. Okay. Generate one. Six damage. I, I will use it to, to, add to a, I'll use that to add to a point of damage. Mm -hmm. Kills him too. Oh baby. Basically pops a shot and shoots the other one through um, whatever his left arm is. I'm assuming if they have shields, that'll be through the shield arm. It'll be like right in the, the top crease of where the arm goes into the armpit. Yeah, they just lock, locks, locks his locks his arm and staggers him back. Mm hmm Okay, I'm gonna use some doom. I use four doom. Um. Oof. Oof. Um, you hear the bane of dogs as the slave guard kind of like rips uh, their chains off and frees them. I spent four doom. Um, now I'm going to go okay. left to right. Um, I'm going to use sprint. For this guy, this guy. Sprint. Here, here. Uh, also sprint. Here, here. So, these slave guards are running around the corner. Um, I'm going to go back to front now. Um, they're all running up from the back. You saw that? Um, so these three in the middle, um, they're going to basically, um, they squad and they move and then attack and they attack Varus. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you can do Reach three. Ooh. What's my parry on that? Uh, so you are starting at needing, uh, two you need, eight. you need, uh, three, so, so, two, and then three, so you need three. Three? Mm-hmm. I'm not too bothered if it hits, but I'll try to parry anyway since I got one. No momentum. 
Or do we have any of them? I don't think we do. I don't believe so. Uh, Status says you have uh, none. Let's see what happens. Nope. Have your have your doom. So I actually get um, I actually get one, two, three doom. Because of complication and hmm. all that. Um, so five damage. What's your soak on your torso? I have piercing on one. Squads. Um, I'm pretty uh, sure all my squads is soak two. Yeah, they should all be the same. Yeah. So two, so one because of piercing. So five damage. Um, is that right? No, four damage. I think. You're seeing one, four. Yeah, six. Fine, uh, yeah, so four damage. Who do you want to take four damage? Jasper. Uh, I'm, I'm going to, uh, pump the damage with the doom. And he will die. So the slave guards kind of run up to Varus's back and run through Jasper, and he just screams out, Aah! and then slides off their spears behind you. Okay. Um, Thorin. Uh, Thorin uh, reacts and attacks Varus. He has to take a minor action to draw his weapon. Um, actually, I'm going to say he has to take the whole round to get his stuff ready. So he basically reaches to his belt, pulls out his sword, kneels, scoops up his shield that was at his feet, and grimaces in your direction. Um, uh, Dicus moves up towards Melik and attacks, um, pulling his mace up with his minor action and swinging. See okay. that Harry. So Melek sees him out of the corner of his eye coming towards him uh, with his with his mace and immediately turns to face him. And uh... Yep. And you generate uh, two momentum. Sweet. So he swings and, and with, you parry with, it. And after I parry with one momentum, I'm going to counterattack. Okay. So I knock his uh, his mace to the side and bring my broadsword back around at him. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm going to spend a doom to try to parry. Oh, it's not a, it's not a, uh, I have to give you a doom to do that. So I, we still have two momentum. Okay, so you're going to give me a doom, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna, so... We'll give you a doom to do the... Okay, I'm going to spin, I'm going to spin that doom to parry. Let me find the parry button. Ooh. And I generate two doom. So you swing back at him, and he brings his mace up and just crashes it against your sword, rattling your arm as he does so. Ooh. And Oscar takes that advantage and swings with his own mace towards your back. I'm going to spend a doom to give me a die. And you get a momentum. So I, uh, after I get my uh, broadsword pushed back, Oscar swings at me, and I quickly turn to face him with my other my with my uh, shield in my left arm, and uh, try and knock the sword away. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm going to use momentum for this. Okay. Um, we have three momentum. Uh, when you started, you had three, yep. So I'm going to use two momentum. Okay. Now you're down to one. Oh, wow. Jeez. Oh, my. Five. Full five five versus... What did he roll? Two? So you just generated three momentum? To gain two dice, is it like Star Trek to get to spend three No. Momentum? No. It's one to one. It's one to one in Conan. And then... After I knock his... His, uh... What did he have? A sword? Mace. He had a mace, too. Oh, he has a mace, too? So... As I knock his mace away, I give you a doom to swing my broadsword back around and hit him. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm going to use one momentum with that. Okay. Is this a talent that's generating the counterattacks? I think it's Riposte, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so that's another doom for me. Jesus. Um, right leg. Um, I'm going to try to parry. And this back and forth. <laughs> yeah, the doom is pretty epic, but at the same time, very worrying. <laughs> also going to use a doom for that. Panic. Oh no. Ooh. God. <laughs> uh, you swing, and he meets your swing with his own mace. And Melek has never known these guys to be quite this formidable when he had sparred with them at camp. Maybe they know his tricks. Um, Lamusi next to you um, begins trying to get out of her bonds. Um, so she's going to do an athletics um, to do that. Um, did did Dykus' difficulty go up by one because it's his second parry attempt? Uh, he did not no, parry. Oscar. It was an Oscar. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's okay. a different person, yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Um, so she's working on it. Uh, not free yet, but she she's tearing at her bonds to get away. Um, next, um, this guard uh, just charges in here towards Saroon. Minor move. Attack. Um, and I'm going to use a Doom for an extra die. Here we go. Uh, he is uh, attacking with a spear. That mind. Alright. Let me see. I am going to go ahead and try and parry with my shield. Okay. So I'll use a momentum to add a die as well. Yep, he has reached three. Keep that in mind. Alrighty. So basically you have to get a three. Oh, does Reach mess with uh, Perry as well? Uh, yeah. I think. Um, maybe it's just attack. It, let's yeah, just say... Yeah. I wouldn't say it messes with Perry. No, it doesn't. You're right, you're right. It, it's it's only when you attack them. Okay. Alrighty, yeah. Um, in that case, yeah, so the one uh, to bump it up. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, there we go. So he jabs with his spear and you're able to block it with your shield sweet yeah and should get the momentum back <laughs> that's lucky mm -hmm. Oof. all right the dogs just charge in here yeah this this is the one that's gonna suck <laughs> they, they eat tighter <laughs> no they're, they're trained war dogs they i'm um, just gonna move him this way a little bit um they attack haroon Oof. trained war dogs still gotta eat <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna eat her room. <laughs> Alright. That's not the sound a dog makes. <laughs> Wait a minute. Those are men in dog costumes. They're hitting, they're hitting you with their noses. <laughs> yeah. They're friendly. They just want to play. Um, Alright, I'll give you a doom to try another parry. Okay. Uh, I'll put a momentum into this one as well. Okay. Uh, nice. So they actually they had two and you generated four, so you get two momentum. Cool. So they're right, biting yeah. at you and you're like just pirouetting away, right? Yeah, he Stay basically away. like he kind of takes that shield real low and is like kind of bouncing away from them here and there and dipping between them. 
Hmm. Makes the most sense here. This guy kind of comes up through the tents. And with his spear, jabs in between Dykus and Oscar. I'm going to give him um, uh, a negative to his roll. Um, as far as uh, he's only going to be able to roll, um, his reach is not going to help him in this. I guess it wouldn't anyway, right? So um, I'm just going to say he can't get to you right now. There's too many people in the way, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um... These two guards also run up, and I'm going to also say that they can't quite get to, to where they're going just yet. Um, okay, it is pretty sure your turn. I'm going to use some doom to go first. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to go with, let's see, uh, Dykus. I'm going to use Doom to have Dykus go. So he attacks. Malik. Uh, here we go. Where, 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 where am I doing? Sorry. Two successes. And as he comes in with his mace, Malik quickly turns to face him. So that's a hit. Uh -oh. uh, only for two damage. Um, I do have an effect. So, knockdown, stun, piercing. Uh, let me... Oh, so, I can't remember what it is you have to pay as a player to... Yeah, knockdown. So, let's okay. start, attack so... knocks a target prone if one or more effects are rolled, which you did. Target may ignore this if they add one doom for each effect rolled, which would be one. Or in the case of non-players, one do. So let's okay, do that one. Give him the do. But, but I, I think it's the same with stun too, isn't it? Yeah. Well, but matching his attack. You, match. you did not match. He rolled a. He rolled roll focus. Yeah, he rolled he a rolled two. Under, he got. He has two focus. successes. Oh. Okay. 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 Yep. Yeah. The fancy green one. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it's the same for so you can give me a doom well. to not be knocked down. Yeah, do that to not be knocked down. Yes. Yeah, and then you he, it has stun as well, so you'd have to pay yep. one to not be stunned too. Yep. They're both very scary things to have happen. Yeah. Um, Feed it to him. I'll 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 pay the doom to not be knocked down. And stunned. And stunned. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, piercing one. What's your um, what's your armor on your left leg? Two, I'm assuming, or is it three? three. Okay, so it's a wash. Um, so he hits you in the leg, and you like knee kind of buckles, and you almost fall to the ground, but you do not. Yeah, maces. Um, blunt weapons I, are really scary in this. And I'm gonna use another doom. And Oscar, seeing that, presses his attack on Malik. And I'm going to spend another Doom. Get an extra die. Four successes. Oof. If you oh, need to oh, spend oh. a parry that, you probably should. Yep. So how much uh, do we have? Uh, in the pool you have... We got four. four. <laughs> do what Wait. you gotta do. Luckily, it was only one effect on that one as well. <laughs> I'll use Add three. He's still gonna get fucked to you death. Use three. Yeah. Okay, you use three. That's the maximum you can use. Holy shit! So that's four versus six. You generated two momentum, and you parried. And so how, how does that look? It, so I almost get taken down. I get hit in the other leg uh, by Dykus, and I kind of it knocks my, uh, makes me you know bend my knee just a little bit, almost makes me stumble. And as I'm you know regaining my balance, uh, Oscar thinks he's going to take that momentum and uh, use it to attack me. As he comes down, I uh, 
as I'm standing back up straight from the previous attack, I just bring my broadsword straight up and knock his his uh, his mace away. And as I knock it away, I see that there's an opening. So I give you a doom and I attack him back. Okay. And I'm gonna use momentum, one momentum to do that. Oh, actually, I'm gonna use two momentum to do that. Okay, you're attacking Oscar. Uh, yeah, the one who yep. just uh, attacked yep. me. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Momentum's good. Uh, I mean, I'm very good, yeah. Might want to pump it a bit. Uh, uh yep, so I'm, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let that go. Um, so, uh, five damage minus two, so three damage at this point. So his left leg. I'm gonna go, go ahead and use two momentum to pump that. Uh, you There's only have one momentum. There's two damage dice that you could re-roll if you yeah. have a talent yeah. or if you want. Yep, the the. He doesn't have a talent board. for it, but he has a he can do a momentum. Did yeah. he generate any successes on that, or generate momentum from that, or no? Uh, oh yeah, he did absolutely. He generated. Um, oh yeah, yeah. May so you generated three moments, and I'm sorry. Yeah. So, yeah, so there you go. Four. To increase two to increase the damage. Okay. So you Just increase. Seven. Yep, so 7 minus 2, 5, so he takes uh, 5, um, are you taking 4, um, so you hit him hard, that wounds him, how does that look? And uh, again, as I knocked away his mace and saw an opening, I counterattacked, and uh, with, his, with his mace up in the air after I, after I knocked it away, uh, it leaves him exposed, and I just thrust the broadsword into his left leg, and then pull it out with a sickening little slit. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Um, we'll start with uh, we'll start with Varus. All right. Um, I'm just gonna yell out that they're seeing uh, the dogs and. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, like eight. Like most of their guards. <laughs> nine, ten, eleven, twelve guys pretty much come sprinting up. I'm just, you know, there could be no victory here. Flee! Flee! The deed is done! And uh, we're going to try to do a fighting retreat, boys. I don't know what, I, I don't know if I can disengage freely. You here, can, I just... think you can disengage with a standard action, right? I think that's it. Um... Yeah, th this ain't happening. Um, but uh, he'll also yell out, I'll hold! Fall back! Flee! And we're going to commit. Withdrawal. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna. I'm, me and Turu are gonna commit, assuming he doesn't flee, because uh, I don't think that we are all gonna run and make it. So we're just gonna go. I'm gonna go in on the slave guards. Um, hmm. There's nothing for a taunt, is there? Uh, yeah, you could taunt, but that's just resolve damage attack, right? Oh, whatever. Um. Okay. I've got a momentum. I'll try. It. No, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna swing at him. I'm just gonna tie him up. So I'm gonna three swing dice. Slave guards. Yep. Three dice. Mm -hmm. wow. Uh, so they actually. Wow, that is um six successes. Um, versus the difficulty of two. So you met, you generated momentum of uh four. Mm -hmm. uh, max. I will. I will pump. Uh... They have two. Um, to uh, soak, so keep that in mind. Man, I don't even really think it's worth pumping anything because I'd have to spend all of it for, to kill one. No, I'm gonna leave it for everybody else. That's fine. Okay. Right, so that's generated six momentum though. Malik, you're up. Um, Melek is going to continue with his attack uh, against Oscar. Okay. Uh, after you know, after he hit his leg, he's going to go ahead and continue and press forward with his attack. He's going to dig his foot in and put two momentum in into his attack. Okay. 
Um, so I get a doom from that. Um, <laughs> you also generated three successes. Um, he's going to attempt to parry. I'm going to use that doom to just do that. Uh, let's see. So he has, starting off, he needs... So he has a difficulty um, of one higher. Um, there we go. So he generated basically one. Uh, he generated two. He had to get to four. Um, so that is one momentum for you. Yeah. Uh, six damage, four damage right now. And, yep, and I'm going to go ahead and pump it to seven. Okay, so you're going to spend three momentum? Uh, I mean, I'm at six right now, right? So just pump Six one. minus two. Oh, from his parry. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's all. From his damn three and pump it up to seven. Okay, so that kills him. How does that look? So as he opens himself up from his previous attack, and I knocked it away, and uh, I pulled the sword out of his leg, and then immediately, with his arm still raised up in the air, I kind of duck down and bring the broadsword right across uh, the bottom of his arm, opening his artery up and blood goes pouring out as he drops to try and try and stop the bleeding. You can just see the color leaving his face as he drops down to his knees and then falls sideways onto the ground. Okay. Kagan, you're up. Two successes. Um, so I get a doom. Um, you get a momentum. Hits him in the head. There's no soak in the head. So. I'm going to use marksmanship to reroll that one that didn't okay. get a result. Right. Uh, has no armor in the head? No armor in the head. So you say it takes six damage. That that kills him, right? So um, so basically, it gives him two wounds. Um, hits him in the head, um, and uh, he just kind of topples over. How does it look? Uh, basically, he ducks behind Haroon, advises him, and then pops up and just shoots a shot that skews a guy right to the eye. Um, he will spend the two momentum and the pull to do a, a swift action. Okay. And try to shoot the other slave guard. Of course, yep. he knows his difficulty goes up. Yep. It's, what, it's difficulty too, but don't know unless you try. Yep. Well, uh, that's okay, because you got three, so that you generated two momentum. Uh, torso, he yeah, has two soak. So you're at one damage right now. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, you only generate one. Oh, I'm gonna reroll one, two of those. Okay. The marksman show. Mm -hmm. So That's you're at five. five. I will put those two into damage. So seven and minus two for armor. Okay, so that gives him one wound.
Uh, so you shot him in the torso, so you just shoot him point-blank range and it sticks into his gut. Yeah, he's, he's double-tapping on the bow and shoots one in the eye and pops another one to the other guy and catches him in center mass with armor, seems to deflect it. Okay. Um, Haroon. All right. Well, you got me out of his reach now because he's dead. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, that's definitely... <laughs> I can actually move now. So, um... I'm going to adjust as a minor just up to here. So I'm still within reach of the dog, so it doesn't trigger. Um, now, how are Lamusi's bindings? Uh, on her wrists. Is it like, could she run at this point? Uh, so her, I guess, so her wrists are connected to her feet with a rope. Okay. So um, she could run if you cut her feet, like her um, bindings on her feet. Ankles, I should say. Okay. Yeah, so... Let me see. How much do we have? Don't have any. Alright, so... Now, from here, can you tell if Piter is, like, for sure dead or, like, bleeding out or what? He appears to be bleeding out. There's a big pool of blood underneath okay. him. If he survives, he isn't going anywhere for a while. He's not getting up and running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Haroon is going to um, lean down and, uh, with his shield to the dogs, kind of uh, grab his dagger and kind of uh, wrench it. Uh, I imagine it's kind of like in the base of his neck and he's going to wrench it off the neck. Um, basically. <laughs> so, given the situation, can I basically like coup de gras him? Yeah, sure. okay. Sure. Okay, yeah. And um, is there any chance I would be able to then kind of bring that up and cut the binding? Is it like leather bindings or? Um, why don't you spend do an F? Yeah, spend the fortune, you could do it. Yeah. Or maybe. or I'll let or I'll let you uh, roll athletics. A complication could be very bad. True. Um. But you know what? I think I will use a fortune for the extra action Can. to do it. Sure. And um. So how does this all look? Yeah. So Haroon basically kind of almost does a roll alongside the dogs, keeping the shield up. Um, reaches down, grabs the dagger pulls it up Piter's neck so that it goes through the vein and blood just splatters uh, probably all over Lamusi more than anything um, and the other guards and Dykus and uh, Oscar's corpse um, and then he kind of brings the blade back and up through her bindings and tells her in Kushite to uh, run okay. and, she kind of uh, looks at you a little blankly and then just kind of is surprised and um go ahead what are you gonna say yeah yeah um and then is she able to right then or uh she it is her you guys turn her over i can have her go first that's completely fine she's an npc on your side quote unquote i was gonna say yeah because i still have a movement and so yep so she she begins He's to take flee off with her because i still have my move <laughs> So he basically like. Uh, you have you have you're room. you're engaged with the dogs. Yeah, he's gonna risk the uh okay. the attack on them. Okay, I'm gonna move her. Just um, she probably would go straight north of here, but uh, I'm gonna move her just kind of over here just for now. Um, oh. so you go to, and they're gonna react and attack. I'm gonna use doom. Yep. Uh, so I'm gonna use uh. Mm, now I'll still be able to move even if I take the hit, right? If you're not dead, yeah, um, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's so, a fair point. It's a fair point. Yeah. So um, let's see. I'm gonna use. Okay, so they're rolling four. Uh, I'm gonna spend doom to tack on three. Um, I can go over max because it's a squad. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're gonna roll seven die. Alrighty, twenty. Here we go. All twenties. See what happens. It's not could be worse. Good. Could um, be worse. It could be a lot worse. Um, th yeah, so they uh, nick his leg. But uh, I, they have grappling. grappling. Yeah. They have Let grappling. Me see. You could parry. 
give him a doom. Hmm. Let me see. Yeah, so grappling. I could go for the parry, but with Haroon, it's pretty unlikely. Um, he's got decent parry, but... <laughs> Is that an effect you can cancel with giving you doom? No, no, it isn't. Grappling will uh, basically stop him from moving right here. You should just go see. for it. If you make it, the doom... Yeah, I think I'll, I'll do it, and uh, let's see if he can actually pull off a miracle here. <laughs> Not <Yeah>. quite. <laughs> this is something, but you yeah, know, he, he tries to bring the shield down in time, but one of them catches him in the back of the leg. And I get two do I think I... Do I have leg armor? No, I don't have any armor on my legs, so I do take a damage as well. Okay. So you try to get away, and the dogs just grab you by the, um, the leg and hold you there in place. Mm -hmm. And I need to spend a doom to do that um, for a reaction, so I do. <clears throat> and uh, is that their turn? That that exhausts their turn, right? Exactly. Um, I don't think it does, I don't think it, that's okay. just their reaction. It, it's yeah. just the same as parry. Yeah. And yeah. I spend a doom to do it, so. Alright, so it's their turn. Haroon tries to get away with her, but is unable to do so. I'm going to go right to left this time, just uh, because um, I don't want to add more people to the middle before I take care of the middle. So we'll go in out, right? Make sense? <laughs> uh, slave Guard runs up on Kagan with an arrow in his chest, and he tries to stab him with his spear. Misses. You get a momentum. There you go. Um, slave guard uh, also moves moves towards Kagan. Uh, attacks with his spear. <clears throat> you can attempt to parry with your um, bow if you want. Extra difficulty. So difficulty two. I would have to give you a doom to parry too. Yes, you would. Mm -hmm. That's good enough. How does that look when he tries to attack you with a spear? Uh, spear comes in, he drops the bow in his grasp to where the string's facing downwards, and he actually catches the tip of the spear and just deflects it. The, the, you know, because he's got a long spear in his hand, the bow is a damn long curved spear, basically. Basically drops the string down, catches it with the, the hand grip, and just side strings and rolls with it. Okay. <laughs> You're not able to even take an action to attack next turn. You have to break free. Um, mm -hmm. The dogs, one of them has you, and the others attempt to bite you. Ah, um, damage. Oof. Um, now does a. I'm curious if uh does a. My brain, sorry. Good. No, you're um, good. Does it count as a? Uh, I think you can parry. Action. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. Yeah, yeah, you can do reactions. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna spend a doom to reroll that damage. There we go. Okay. Four. So, on, my figure should be nine now. Let me see. See, so, yeah, I will. I'll give it a go. I'm trying to parry. 
Right, let's see. Luck be with me. Hey. Holy shit, it's with me. Three. Um, <laughs> what did I? Oh yeah, you did. So you parried. Um, didn't generate a momentum, but you parried. Yeah, he he just manages to kind of keep the shield around. He's got the one dog, which is sort of blocking him off, so he's kind of using the shield and the dog to keep him away, to keep the other dogs away. Mm -hmm. uh, having a rough time of it, though. Okay, uh, let's see. So, Slave Guard um, on Malik adjusts. Uh, kind of slides in where Oscar was and attacks with a spear. And you've already parried at least twice. So to parry again, you will have to give me a doom. No need. He whiffs. Can't parry what don't hit you. Yeah, he, he Melek doesn't parry, and he sees the spear coming in, and he kind of just takes a side step and spins around as the spear goes right by him. Um, Thorn moves up and attacks Varus. Um, this is not gonna. Be... Um, okay. All right, here we go. So, um, <clears throat> off the off the ground, he had hefted a battle axe um, along with a shield, and swings it overhead with a big chop towards Varus. Ooh, Perry Ooh. looks like a good idea. I'm oh, gonna yes, I'm please. gonna use uh, no mercy as well. So we'll just see what you're looking at here. Um, so an extra damage die. Mm -hmm. Eight. Um, no momentum, but parry still looks good. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it's vicious, so it's nine, actually. But Oh, he's fucked me. Two. Oh, and it's intense as well. Um, I also have... Um, hold on one second, guys. Turi's dead. Let's not even bother. I'm worried about excess coming over to you. Yeah. Oh, then you guys should run. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I would if I didn't have a dog attached to my leg. It's, ten, it's ten, dam ten damage, one piercing. Yeah, but I have other, I have talent, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I've got talent. So ten. Um, I'm going to spend a doom. Um, well, no, I'm not. Um, okay, so ten. That kills Turu. There's so he just... Is just nine, right? Because it's seven. Uh, so vicious. And, then nine. and vicious. Yeah, because okay. the second die was only a one. It wasn't an effect. Or was it an effect? Hold on, yes. let me Eight damage, nine for vicious, ten for intense, which is also vicious. Oh, no, intense is a, is a wound. Yeah, it's, it's a wound. wound. Oh, yeah, oh okay. So, okay, so it's, it's nine. So, yeah, nine. It's really worse than plus one damage. Yeah, so two, you... Yeah. So he rolled three, you rolled two. Um, so I get a doom. Let's do that first. <clears throat> um, okay, so nine damage that kills two. Um, so as he's coming in, he just kind of smashes two with his shield in the face and then just comes down on top of his head, right down uh, basically in between his eyes with his axe, and then kicks two in the chest and st he stumbles backwards. Um, so uh, that would give you four damage the leftover minus whatever you're so oh I, i'm sorry hold on two ruse socus two uh nine damage seven damage okay so uh took five so you get two damage but which probably is soaked correct it is okay so and he goes to swing and he kind of like the bat he kind of spins and swings his uh battle axe towards you and it kind of bounces off your chest he just turned the blade slightly too much as he comes around to you. Okay. Uh, the slave guards behind you attack. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you can give me a... I got a Ooh. shield, so I'll give you one more. I'll, I get one more free parry. Yep.
buried. How does that Just look? Is... Uh, reeling back after the battle axe nearly digs into my chest, I... It's like an old soldier's instinct. You can feel the next attack coming. I just throw my shield up at the last second and hear the spear bounce off and maybe come up over my head just a bit as I deflect it. I'm just backpedaling now, realizing I am very much alone. Um, these guards behind you, they come forward and all of a sudden give chase to Lamusi, who um, I'm going to roll athletics for both of them and see if they can catch her. This turn. Um, I should be and... Don't mind. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna make negate wow. those from each other. Of all the rules for you yeah. to get that on twice. <laughs> so they, they don't they don't have her yet. They don't have her yet. I'm gonna just kind of move them over oh. here. That's pretty good. <laughs> good. Um, oh. These guys move and then uh, move again, um, running in this direction to get towards Melek. And it is your turn. Would you guys go first? Whew. Okay. Um, I'll look at fortune spins. Someone else can go while I'm looking at yeah, that. Whoever want to go. Let me um, just get my acrobatics out of the way. <laughs> Yeah, so so Melik will, you know, see that we're, you know, he'll see Turu fall and uh, out of the corner of his eye, and that there's a dog pulling on Harun's leg. Kagan is getting, you know, run up on as these other guards come around me, and he'll, he'll uh, resign himself to there's only one way out of this, and that's fighting. Pretty much. <laughs> so he 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 brings his broadsword just straight down across Dicus. Okay. Oh. Maybe running can be what you do. As you swing, Dicus kind of steps out of the way and spits at you as you miss. Malik was distracted by those other slave guards running up behind him. All right. Um, I mean, hearkening back to what Ian suggested a few uh, moments ago, um, I would like, I'll spend both of my fortune points. In fact, if you allow a bit of a slave uprising, what with all their guards being up here. Sure, you can do that. Yeah. I'll give you both fortune points for it. I was gonna say, I think adding a story element is actually one of the things you can it spend is. it for. It's, it's GM approval, yeah. but yeah. I wanted to run it by. I'm, ha I'm happy with that. Uh -huh. No problem. We can. And then, uh, part of my, um, so let me kind of, let me RP this real quick. So as the fighting's going on, uh, in the background, you hear all this clamor and commotion as all the guards have been pulled forward. And all of a sudden, you kind of in the distance, uh, I mean, you're very preoccupied, right? But you kind of like catch a glance out of the side of your eye of just all these slaves just breaking their bonds and beginning to rush in your direction. But go ahead. They run right past. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Even if they did, it gives them something to worry about, I guess. Yeah, really. That's that's, that's money running by you. Probably more of a concern than these three fucking or poor assholes that just you know start cutting things well, up. Well, they can just kill us. And kill yeah, it, yeah it's his, true. His, his life, <laughs> his life versus his livelihood. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> And uh, I'm pretty much just going to again call. You fools! Enough of your fighting! Run! Take your wounds! Escape! There is no victory here. And uh, I'm very much surrounded. Do as I do as I say, not as I do. 
Um, you can still withdraw to this square here. They're just gonna keep chasing me. I'm just gonna try to occupy as many people as I can. Go ahead and attack. Attack the slave guards. Okay. Two. Um, but uh, so that's a. Uh, you needed to get two to hit them. They're not gonna parry because they're minions. So that is um, no momentum. Four damage. No soak. Would you like to do anything? I have no momentum. Oh, okay. Uh, that one's dead anyway because he was hurt already. So you killed one of them. I'm just. After yelling that out, and maybe he comes forward trying to take advantage of me, turning my head for a moment, and then I just sidestep quickly and bring my sword straight down between his eyes and then rip it out. Okay. Um, Haroon or Kagan? I think I just got the one thing to do, so uh, I'll do acrobatics, which I okay. think it was one effect when they hit me, right? Uh, yeah, it was just one. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I need to hit one with this. So, acrobatics. We don't have any momentum, do we? No, we, we do don't. Not. All right. There it is. <laughs> so he's loose. Now. So that's your standard mm -hmm. action. You ha you can yeah, exactly. you can't withdraw, so you're gonna get attacked again if you move. That's that's the big worry. Yeah. Yeah, because if he moves... Hmm. You got a fortune you want to use? No, I used it to break Lamusi free and everything. You have two total, right? Yeah, well, I used the one on Piter the oh. first time. Oh, and yeah, that's the other. Right. Okay. Yeah, to, to break Lamusi free. So, let me see. What can I do? Uh... Yeah, so... Now these guys aren't really like threatening him at the moment. They're they're not threat. No, no, they're not threat. Yeah, so he's gonna kind of adjust this way a bit so that you know he's still within reach of the dogs, but mm -hmm. you know, basically readies himself to uh, to flee. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that'll right. be him. Kagan. Um, we're considered what engaged at reach of one another. You yeah, you're engaged. I can shoot still. Yeah. As far as I know, there's no, there's nothing that says you can't. Mm. <sighs> reach close. Despite my better interest, I'm going to use, uh... And when making attacks, if you're, what do you do with your reaches? You have to get an extra... Um, you're, you're still... Con I, I would say you're still considered ranged. It's, I mean, you, you have a better range than they do, no matter what. I'm talking if we, I'm talking if we melee. Oh, if you melee, uh, their reach, so if they have a three reach and you have a two reach, then your difficulty starts at two instead of one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, there is a break guard thing, but it requires momentum. And I'd still have to give you a doom to do a parry with a weapon unless it has parrying, correct? That's correct. Mm -hmm. mm. Hmm. Yeah, it's a tricky one. It could go either way, but depending it's... on if you hit him hard, it might just be worth taking those two, but Kagan's, Kagan's gonna drop his bow as a free action, draw mm -hmm. his tool, tool war as a minor action, okay. and attack the wounded slave guard. Okay. Nobody's listened to you, Varus. <laughs> Nobody's had the opportunity yeah. to properly do it without risking them. Yeah, it's them. tough. Yeah. That's the big problem. They just don't want it enough. 
Tor isn't on there. Uh, I can turn. Hold on, I'll turn it off. Two seconds. Yeah, I think in Harun's case, the dogs just wanted it a bit more. <laughs> They're hungry. That's what you said. Tor yeah, should be there now. Exactly. Nope. No, yeah, that's been the big problem right now. Welcome like... to the fucking danger zone. Yeah. Uh, oh. Reach isn't gonna make it. Mm, Is that their nope. spears are three? Yeah. That's correct. Yeah, so he keeps fire. you at bay with his spear. You're not able to quite get close enough to him. As you get close, kind of jabs at you and you're forced to stop. That's you guys, huh? Uh, so, uh, now what would you like the slave slaves to do. They're grouped in squads of five. I can move them for you. Um, I mean, it, I don't have any control over them, so you do what you want. What, what do you think? Whatever you think's reasonable for them. I mean, I just wanted to create that scene, because that makes yep. sense to me. And so, being they, good point, they, be, they begin to... Th these running out here um, come upon the dogs, um, and they just, like, begin to just kick and kick at them as they're moving, because they're just kind of in their way. Um, let's find out what happens here. Dogs fight again. He's <laughs> only just... <laughs> they, they hit him at least. I mean, they, they did yeah. hit him. Yeah, well... <laughs> yeah, the not, they're not able to fight. really do anything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, move them up here. These guys do the same thing. Fortune uh, well spent. <laughs> Roll the trample. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh shit. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> hey! Let's flip those around. Yeah, yeah, just swap them around a bit. We'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are they gonna sell these dudes to do? Can't even use their own hands and feet. <laughs> these are just running towards. They're like crazed and frenzied and anger, so they're. They're moving forward to help, but it's taking a while to get there because they're sprinting now. Um, all right, so I guess it's my turn. Um, the dogs actually um, are pre... They, they see all these dudes coming towards them, and they kind of turn around because there's just a bunch of them, and they attack the slave guards, actually. Slave guards. No, the slaves. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. That's slaves that's what I meant. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they do. Um... Use your parry, boys. They just they're getting chewed up. Um... Right. Uh, these two uh, are not uh, going to turn around. Um, they continue to attack Kagan. Uh, the top one attacks with a spear. What does Kagan do? Try to parry with that Tulwar. You there, Ian? Nope. lose a man. He's dead, Jim. I'll just come back then. Um... So I'll do like yeah. Let me see. Okay, so I got those two guys left. I remember that. Um, these uh, slave guards begin to attack Malik individually. First one with his spear. Doc. Yeah. So um, he he attacks him and. Uh, Melek uh, brings his shield around. Yep, Mo one momentum. Mm hmm. Thank God for momentum. <laughs> no, we need it. <laughs> Doc's about to spend it right here anyway. <laughs> uh, now, this is this is his new meta meta um, <laughs> tactic. It, I mean, it works. <laughs> Do it up, mate. Do it up. Because a 
attack, attack him with a bunch of guys individually, so he has to fight. <laughs> individually. I, I told you, doing. I told you. I know what he's doing. <laughs> Doc calling motherfuckers out. Yeah. The strats. Um, okay, another one attacks. The problem is it generates them just as much doom. Oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. that gives you a momentum. See, so it works out either way, Doc. Yeah. He's got to commit to the promise. Yeah, so we're at, we're at two momentum now? Yep. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. And the we'll last one yourself. attacks his spear. <laughs> you can do it. You literally can just do it. <laughs> Don't even... <laughs> So he, he knocked the first one away with his shield and the other one came in and he just kind of leaned back as it came by his chest and the third one came in with a spear and he uses his sword uh, to knock it away. <laughs> uh, generated throat. Uh, let's see. Two momentum. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, two I momentum. think it's one. Uh, Got the reach on attack. Uh, not not oh, on parry. Not, not right. parry. Reach it reaches on your attack, not on your defense. Yeah, it's, it's, that so, makes sense. Yep. Two, so now you have four momentum. <laughs> okay, uh, not gonna do anything. Ian, are you back yet? Yeah, it's okay. light, lightning outside. So. Okay. Uh, so the slave guard attacked you. He, had, he got one success with the damage of. Uh, da, da, da. four. So, um, it is uh, up to you if you would like to parry with your tool bar. Yeah, I'm gonna attempt to parry. Okay. If I stop moving my token every time I click it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, though that, uh, macro panel is huge. <laughs> yeah. I think it is just when you have into the... the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Here, I'll move him so you can just there. click your thing. Uh, yeah. You got it with one success? Just one, yep. So you just need one. Yeah. Uh, got it, but I'll take that down. Okay. The dog uh, eats your bow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other, um, the saying. other guy attacks as well with his spear. Miss. Nice. So you're able to parry the first one and the second one messy. Um, okay. All right, we are over to Dicus attacks Melek as he is surrounded. I will spend a doom for an extra die. So, I will give you a doom to take a parry this time. Okay. Since it will be my third parry. Mm hmm. And after knocking away the spears and dodging them, he sees Dicus out of the corner of his eye and he turns to face him. The clanking of spears and metal on metal, he goes ahead and parries. And I'm going to use two momentum. Okay. So, um, that's three, so that's good enough to parry. Um, you're going to get one momentum back, and I'm going to get a doom as well. Okay. And then I'm going to give you another doom to counterattack. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> and I'm going to attack him. I'm going to use one momentum. Give you another doom. <laughs> give me another doom. Um, okay. And, so, and another momentum. <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I'm going to roll a parry. Um, so minus one doom. Here comes the parry. So you get two momentum back. And then I'm going to use those two momentum as I bring my broadsword down on him. Mm -hmm. I hit it just right uh, where it makes, you know, causes pain in his hands and he drops his weapon. Oh, nice. Mm. Okay. 
Good use of disarm. Like so, Mart I spend two momentum to disarm him. You knock the mace out of his hand. He curses as it hits the ground before him. Um, Thorn will attack Varus. He looks at you and says, You made a mistake, old man. I'm going to gut you where you stand. Oh, did he, t he took damage too, though, right? Uh, yeah, he should have actually. Yeah. yeah. Six. Um... So I would have also used one momentum to increase that to seven. Okay, that's fine. Uh, right leg. So that would um, be fine. Yeah, you hit him across the, the arm and it, like you hear just a you just slice the top of his forearm close to his elbow and the mace hits the ground. Uh, Thorn Tax Varus. I'm gonna spend one Doom for an extra die. Oh, oof. Looks good. That's yeah, like what? So five, five. Mm -hmm. Any effects? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna spend a Doom to reroll two die. Oh, oh fuck. effects! <laughs> oh no! So that's four doom for. Oh no! Thank God, it's not the it's not the knocked out shit. No, it's not <laughs> the knocked out. Like, oh, no, 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 no. The, no, no. Well, I don't know if it's the. So that's but, uh, no. six. I mean, yeah, it's still but pretty. That's ten. Crazy. That's ten damage, with the vicious. Can you um, destroy your armor to? Yeah, yes, you can. You can yeah. absolutely. You can. Buy chest piece. Oh man! Yeah. Oh man! Armor starting to get destroyed. You're gonna try to parry. There's no point. There's no way. I'm not gonna. I don't want to spell minimum do it. I'm probably not gonna hit it. Okay. Uh, so I get. I'll yeah. get. Uh, yeah. Four. Four doom for that then. You'd have to get five successes and risk a complication. Exactly. There's no fucking point. Just destroy the armor. Okay. Uh. So he just like cuts you across the chest. How does that look when it destroys your armor? I was gonna say something to maybe make it not look as impressive for him, like he just cuts That's a strap fine. or something. That's fine. He just cuts like a strap, and then my my old guts hanging out. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, they're right there. Try your best. Okay, so you still did take the damage. Um, so you are at uh, literally at zero. Wait, no. what? I thought you destroyed the armor and you don't, you don't take the damage. Uh, I'm pretty sure you take the take the damage, but you just don't take the wound. Is that correct? Um, uh, I think it negates it, everything, doesn't it? Does it? Check. I can't remember. It's been a bit. If that's the case, I will fucking parry. Because <laughs> I thought um, I just destroyed the armor. I think it does negate... I, it might be that it negates a wound. Um, let me go to armor. I just had this up a bit ago. Uh, it's past. So let's see. Sacrificial armor. Once per scene, whenever a character suffers a wound, in order to ignore the wound, the character may choose to sacrifice oh. either armor soak from the location struck or a shield, assuming it's being used. Yeah, so it would negate a wound. So instead of inflicting a wound, uh, you lose that, but it would deal the vigor. Um, te techni technically, you're going to take... So, te so technically... Um... This would... Okay, so you just took 10 damage. Um, we give you the soak before the destruction, so that's 7. Um, so that actually would give you... Um, yeah, Fortune's you would... Fortune's gone, Kagan. Spend them both on this, on this slaves. Uh, so, so basically you are... Um, you you take one. no wound, you, you're at 1 with no wound. That's fine. That, that works. Yeah. 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 So he, he cuts he cuts the strap and leaves a nice big cut. My guts aren't quite out yet though. 
Okay. And you you can choose to destroy an armor piece once per scene. Yeah, that's fine. I got so, it. Well, I mean that. Yeah, that, I, did, I hadn't that seen that. The, that ghoul in the crypt. He. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's, a, he's a nemesis, so. It's yeah, fair actually, a nemesis can. And I think I think Tet was spending doom to do that. Maybe even so, who cares? Mm. Didn't change the dynamic yeah, at all. Uh, uh, anyway. Um. Okay. These slave guards attack Varus. They're squatted. Spear with two. They miss. Um, so the last thing we'll do is the chase scene up here. We'll do athletics versus athletics again. Let's see how weird this is. <laughs> One's for both sides. <laughs> One for them. Come on, the moose. <laughs> it is, they're not able to get... She's... she's uh, She's zigzagging. Uh, All right, guys, your turn. Uh, so, somebody else go first. <laughs> with with Dykus' weapon on the ground, Milik sees his opportunity, and he goes ahead and attacks Dykus with his broadsword, uh, digging his heel in. And uh, using one momentum. Okay. Uh, he cannot parry, um, so that's a hit. Um, eight damage. Um, that will kill him. How's that look? So after his his arm gets injured and he drops his weapon. Uh, he has a look of shock on him when he looks up and he meets me, uh, you know, meets my eyes, you know, makes contact. Um, I just kind of give the slightest smile as I take my broadsword and just run it right across his chest. Yeah, he grabs at his upper abdomen and you've like torn through his ribs and he kind of like spills onto the ground. All right, who's next? Oh, I forgot about the shield soak. Huh. Mm -hmm. Um, not worried about it. Um, I mean, if no one else wants to hop on, Harun has a thing. So the dogs are distracted with these guys, right? Yep. They're no right, longer so... engaged with you. You can move. Yeah, so he's going to kind of um, duck this way and um, flee into the camp further with okay. his move. That's fine. Um, and then... So he kind of technically wants to duck in this way. square now. Okay. Good. Yeah. So um, and then I want to do an exploit as he kind of um, he makes it look like he's running, but yet he's actually looking for an opening on Thorin. <laughs> okay. So I'll do an exploit real quick. Do we have any? We should have one. Yeah, I'll spend the one momentum. Probably don't need to, but. Oh, yeah. I did need to, but I did yeah. need another one, even. Yeah. So he's not quite able to find that opening. Thorn's obviously in a pretty good spot, so. So, um, Kagan, will you roll me an observation difficulty two? Fucking <laughs> Kagan. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, the momentum. Um, I'm gonna whisper something to you. I don't know where you went either. He <laughs> joined the slave rebellion. Ninja disappeared! Oh, oh my god. Of 
Mm-hmm. You're engaged too, so if you move, they can react to attack you. They can. I can attempt to withdraw. Yeah, you could withdraw and then move. You see it, Ian? Yeah, 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 I see. Uh... Oops. On two gallon water container number two. <laughs> uh, Kagan will go very frequently agitated, not defensively either. He's like almost borderline panic. Um, he turns and yells something in Hurricanian. I don't know if any of them actually speak it or not. It sounds like he's yelling someone's name and fucking a warning of some kind uh he will reaction shift the tool or shift the tool or to his left hand and draw battle x okay and he will make an attack against the one that guard did okay There's no momentum in the pool anymore. Yeah, one it looks like. One. Yeah, I'll spend one because I have to do the reach thing on it. This will be with the battle axe I'm attacking. Okay. Uh, that is a hit normally. I'm not seeing the roll yet. That's so that's two successes, damage five. Anybody else it? seeing it? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear us? Yeah, I, can, I, can, I, hear you, I can hear him, but I, can I don't hear see you. I think it's just your stuff's coming up slow because yeah, of the yeah. uh, connection. There, there, we yeah. there we go. There we go. Good. Yep, that hit. Yeah, that's got what two effects on it or something like that. It does have two effects, so that would be seven damage. Seven damage. That would kill him. Yeah, he. Yeah, he's happy with that, but he basically you know, shit. I don't know. I forgot her name. You make it up. I don't know what it is. You... <laughs> no, I'm getting disconnected. Y'all hear me? Uh, yeah, you're cutting out just a little bit. Okay, because it's saying I'm disconnected to the server. Mm, I can hear you. Hear. It might just be roll 20. Um, Break the Discord. I'll basically, hear, you'll hear him basically yell the name Murta! something rambling on it sounds like a warning and he gets real hellbent and fervent he just his blade over draws his battle axe and plants it in this dude as hard as he can and drops him very sweet oh well my guts out on the verge of death <laughs> let's swing at one of these slave guards Generate some momentum so I can kill the dude. <laughs> Not with my roll. Uh -huh. He's got reach with spear, doesn't he? Uh, he does. No, he Can't get there. Um, has everyone went? I believe they have. Correct. I think so. Yep. Um, so as Kagan yells out, um. You, you're not sure what he said, but um, maybe nobody even notices, but another figure walks up and calls back out in a similar language. Um, one second. 
He's gone again. Yeah, I'm rebooting the, the keeps trying mm. to log in, but it says unresponsive. Do you wish to wait? Oh. Mm. It says you're in. Let me see. Let me ask you. Or let, let me know if you get this oh, whisper yeah, I'm I'm about. The I still got the load. Yeah, I still got the loading screen. Okay. You can do it on Discord if you want. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. Then. And then um, she says something in Hurricaneian, and then she yells out, Stop! Do not kill them! Drop your weapons! Thorin! Do not kill them! And he kind of looks over his shoulder and looks at Varys and snarls as he kind of takes a small step back. This guard, like, steps away and kind of begins to try to grab the ward the dogs collect the slaves she says and they begin to try to do so what is your reaction to this Kagan, uh, confusion Kagan's oblivious to what she's doing if he sees an opening to run he's hauling ass towards his sister and yeah they don't they don't stop you yeah, he's, he's got, I don't know if he's older or younger or not, but he's got the little brother, you know, is so happy to see his sister look on his face. And he just goes out like he's going to run to hug her. Uh, yeah, she she steps forward and hugs you back. Yeah, with a slight together. smile. Yeah, he drops his weapons on the ground big time. Just holds her, embraces her, and just... He doesn't audibly cry, but tears are already rolling down his face. He just picks her up, squeezes her in disbelief. What are the rest of you doing? So... Can we see where Lamusi is from here? There, you can barely see them out and kind of like off in the distance. Yeah, off in the distance. Running, yeah, the the distance. distance. yeah, yeah. Just, just follow the Benny Hills. <laughs> yeah, I was just yeah you, um, yeah, you could catch up eventually. They're ineffectively Harun. trying to catch her. Yeah, Harun, um, seeing this, um, would call for Thor and, uh... Well then, call off your guards from Lumusi. And Thorin kind of, like, looks over his shoulder as he kind of backs away from Varus and kind of, like, comes towards you and... She said nothing about that. She's our slave now. You've killed many men here today. It's our payment. Not yours anyway. Hmm. Well, you see, she wasn't there in the first place. And we are tasked with guarding her. He just looks you up and down and says, that will be up to... What's her name, Kagan? I just call her Merta. That Everyone. will be up to Merta to decide. Hmm. Very well. Varus, Malik. Malik, as soon as the he sees the slaves uh, back away... He seizes the opportunity and just walks up behind Thorin and runs his broadsword right oh, through his chest. Oh, man. Mm. <laughs> I fucking... I you, was, I was, <laughs> you get a roll for that. What's that? You get a roll for that. Roll, uh... uh -oh. Because he was backing up from Varus, so just roll stealth. <laughs> I believe you have noisy Some, armor, too. Something, something Melek excels at, I'm sure. Oh, Jesus. She did it. <laughs> not necessarily. Well, yeah, not necessarily, but still. How many successes it takes. I will spend doom. You got fortune, Malik, if you really want this to happen. I mean, honestly, I was going to wait till he turned around <laughs> to deal with Malik and then get him. <laughs> so, the petty potentially, man. depending on how they dealt with Lamusi and everything, but... 
The pettiness. Okay, your moment. Oof. But he did see you. Um, and kind of as you're coming forward, he kind of backs up suddenly and puts up his shield and he's like, ha ha ha. What is this? Wish to still fight me, do you? And he says, "Then let then let us." And you are you continuing to attack him. Yeah. Okay. So, so it, as, as soon as he starts talking, I immediately bring my broadsword down. All right. He will try to parry, and these slave guards all around are kind of looking like what sh they should do, and. Sh uh, Myrta seems kind of she doesn't see this currently so I was gonna uh, say it's the other side of the tent perfect I was like oh this is the spot if I'm going to kill him this is the spot to do it and mm -hmm. then Merlick is like I'll start it Jump for you gun. so he's gonna parry uh, I'll use doom to do so so minus one doom to parry any chance yeah, I can do an exploit seeing as he's distracted while that's happening yeah, one second. Let me get to this first. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. Uh, Got your ass. Boom. So, he actually rolled three. Giving you a momentum, though. Um, and, um... If you so, leave two momentum, he's gone. So, basically... He just brings up the brings up the axe and smashes it away um so i'm i'm considering this a whole new combat um i'm gonna use doom to go mm. um assuming that you guys actually tell me varus and haroon and kagan are you going to potentially get into this fight no, um haroon is going to yeah, like do an exploit to get ready to if, if that's fine. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm going to so so that means that you could go. So I'm gonna use Doom to go now, and then you can do an exploit. Mm -hmm. So cool. I, I use Doom to attack. Um, I'm gonna use uh, two Doom for uh, two extra dice. Oh my God! Oh no. Can you do it? That's the question. That's, that's a pretty tough parry. Five? Five. I'm going to use... Um, uh, well, I'll see what happens. Go ahead. Because, I mean, if it's... it's one was a do you have focus. armor? I do. Hmm, because it's only five. It might just be worth... I'm going to pump this. Uh, I, I, I automatically get to reroll one with um, one mixed. Missed yeah. one, so... That's seven. Yeah. And in effect, might be worth just dropping the armor for it. Because you, you you'd see, you'd see a rune waiting for an opening back there, but yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So so um, he he comes down and he brings his his battle axe down, and I'm gonna go ahead and use two momentum to parry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was gonna happen anyway. Hold it. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he fucking, and he fucking Six. Does it. And then he just fucking does it. Yep. He gets the two god. momentum back as well. And there's two momentum back. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Melik. He brings the battle axe down, and as it's he brings so it down, I kind of sidestep and I use my, my broadsword oh. and just knock it away i knock it clear away um out of you know kind of like spinning it around just a little bit and uh set up haroon now that he's off balance just a little bit haroon mm -hmm. here's your chance would you like to do the observation yeah exploit mm -hmm. all right i got okay. it um and then, so uh, kind of a th that's is the exploit a minor action or it's an action so he, he's okay. not doing anything else he's just okay. kind of Wait, he's looking for that opening. He now sees that he's properly distracted with Melek. So, um, question is, do I go in for the thing? It might be better to wait one round. So he's gonna do that. So he's still kind of looking like he he spotted his opening, and he's now just waiting for Melek to 
give it one more hit so that he can dive in. He's kind of tucked his blade away, and he's... Um, it's not very visible, but he has um, this ring on, essentially, that is... Um, it's a garret. It's mm -hmm. actually just wire, so... What um what is Varus doing as this is happening? Varus is uh well I mean Varus almost died, so Varus is no longer interested in this combat. He's basically he's he just guard, fucking so. sits down next to the yeah, dead bodies. I mean, my my gut's hanging out, I'm all cut up, I'm looking around, these these guards are all backing away and I'm it's it's like something out of a like a fairy tale or something, like it's I was on the verge of death, but at the same time, he's very somber. He sees Melek going in for Thor, and he's, he just dismisses it. This is Melek's grudge, not his, and he just looks to his men, both dead, and just is a bit somber about the whole affair, as he's also being a practical man and relieving Jasper of a chess piece that he desperately needs to cover himself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, <laughs> he's not using it. He's, he's gonna have to get the breastplate stretcher. Yeah, we're gonna. Be... <laughs> He'd be looking for hours. Uh, so, um... anybody, anybody have a smithing hammer? <laughs> he's, just, he's probably just gonna hold it for. He, he does need it just so he's just working to get it off. But he looks like he's miserable doing so. So Myrta looks at Kagan after they embrace, and she hears the sound of ringing, and she says. I said stop! And she kind of leaves Kagan and walks up to see what's going on and sees Melek and Thorin, like, fighting and yells, Stop! And Thorin's like, He's attacking me! What is Kagan? Is he going to follow her? What's he gonna... uh, yeah, if he would have heard the sounds of combat, he would have immediately yeah. reached, reached down and grabbed his weapons to defend his mm -hmm. sister. And if she started walking forward, he would accompany her. Yeah. Though I can't, though I can't move past this wall of macros to do so. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to know how to do a dynamic lighting, a wall that you couldn't walk through, but you could see through yeah. the display things. <laughs> <that guy. laughs> so she's like this woman who never seen Malik is staring at you what, and telling you to stop. What do you do? You see Kagan walking behind her. Um, Melek, he doesn't—he doesn't know her. He doesn't recognize her. He doesn't even understand her. He's locked in combat with Thorin. Mm -hmm. Hmm. This will be interesting. Go for it, Melek. Okay. There's a curious look on Haroon as he sees this all go down. It's almost playful. Um, I'm going to use one momentum to re-roll my missed hits. Okay. That's five. Yeah, there's a lot of them. I will um, spend Doom to parry. I'll generate two Doom. You swing and he knocks, knocks your sword away again. And I'm going to use a Doom to go. And he's like, she said stop! And he just swings with everything he's got. I'm going to use three Doom for the attack. For five dice. Oh, five God. successes. Two effects. I re-roll re those automatically. Mm. So let's see what that is. Just so we know what we're working with. Three Another effects. Effect. So you're talking about five, eight damage, seven, looking like? Eight, seven, I think. So this is and three, four, five, three. oh no. So you got five naturally and then three effects, eight, yeah, you're right, it's eight. Yeah. Eight before soak. <laughs> so... 
Melek distracted by this this woman coming around the corner. He he looks over and sees Kagan and, and he's confused. It's like what what is going on? And in his distraction, Melek gets hit and his chest piece snaps in half. Okay. Um I'm gonna spend uh so you're oh, you not know, gonna you parry. Know what? Yeah, um... Uh oh, what happened? Hmm? Yeah, mine dropped as well. Yeah, yeah mine did too. It's rolled Great. 20 itself. It's so. rolled 20. Oh no. Their update. <laughs> no, it's, it, mine's starting to go now. It's just really slow. Yeah, I, j I just clicked reload on mine, so it should get there. It's trying. Let's yeah, establish it. for a quick pause. <laughs> <laughs> Un momento, por favor. <laughs> Elevator music. Let's go. Let's do an update at uh, at at twelve forty six uh, a.m. They're so, idiots, like, dude. They sounds like a great idea. What they the heck? They've been having issues since they did that. Damn. D and D or two minutes or. Weird. It just it just threw me in a completely different game. <laughs> oh, I will do that if you had another one open at any point since you clicked this one open. But even then, sometimes I get that error. Uh, let's take a five minute bite. Alrighty. Sure, I can grab a <laughs> snack and begin my path to Varus. But hey, guys, I mean, so far, we're alive. <laughs> so that's that's a turn of events. I wasn't sure for a bit there. Hey, what, so what does a fate point do? If I use it right now? What does what? A fate point. Um, I can not take any damage, right? I think. Uh, you can ignore. You can ignore a wound if you take a wound with harm. You can spend a fortune point to regain all lost vigor, though. Yeah, let me scroll to it. I have the thingy. Um. So. Yeah, you can restore all lost vigor resolve, or if you were to parry, you'd be able to. Add a d20, and it counts as if it were a one. So you'd have basically an automatic two success, and then you'd roll your normal dice as well. Ooh, okay. So. Okay, yeah. Now, I can't remember what he rolled. Was it a five total? Yeah, five, five yeah. successes. Uh -huh. So there's one momentum in there, so. Yep, so that will mm -hmm. give me... Three plus two auto successes. Did you roll? I'm I'm not even logged in yet. It's it's loading still. Yeah, mine isn't loaded up. I got the main screen for roll twenty. If I can get in the game. I've shut Pro off and tried to go in about three times. It's still no, it's down. I'm just I'm stuck in a loading screen. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Like I don't understand like um roll twenty because I'm gonna stop. And we're back. Okay. Um alright, so So you attacked. I attacked five successes. With five successes. Damage is currently parry. Yep, and you use no momentum or you use a momentum? No, or? I'm gonna use um uh, what you call a fortune point. Oh, to okay. give me a die a d20 on a one, which gives me two successes automatically. Okay. And then I'm gonna parry with my momentum. How much are you spending? Well, I, I think there's only one in there, isn't there? Yeah, there's one in there. So, mm, uh, or, does, that, or does that d20 uh, made a one create fortune point? No, it doesn't. No, no, no fortune point. He's just got, um, yeah, there is only one of them. I don't know unless it hasn't been updated. 
Okay, so I have two uh, automatic successes. Mm -hmm. And then you gotta roll a three dice. Three. Three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three dice. You gotta get to five. Oh my god, god. fuck <laughs> you. Shit, got that's five. five. He didn't need seven. He didn't need the fortune Generated oh, hey, two. Hey, that is good momentum to have. So you're out of fortune points, correct? Uh, no, I still have. Oh, you more, still haven't used any? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Haroon, what are you gonna do? Well, seeing as, you know, she said to stop, and they haven't stopped, so I'm gonna make them stop. <laughs> um, so, Haroon kind of just walks up behind Thorin while he's distracted, um, and kind of, there's this, like, little shimmer in the air over his head as Haroon brings down a garret. Let's see. So, how much we got in the pool? No. Oh, yeah, oh two, two. two. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. two. Cool. Um, just let me see. Here it is. Now, since I have like a an opening and a surprise on him, it's there's no reach factor, is there? That's correct. Cool. All right. So that, and I will spend the two momentum to max it, um, which is. Uh, let me see. Oh, is that not displaying the bonuses properly? It should be six dice, just like the other one. No. Um, is it not? Is it wrong? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's doing it's... just three for some reason. Uh, it, it, did, it added the modifier, but not the base damage. I don't know. But anyway, so it's um, okay. the six effects. Each mm -hmm. of them is four. So, my brain. So you're saying you should roll six right? six dice, or...? Yeah, yeah, it should be six total. Say It's the same damage as the dagger, but it's much, much higher unforgiving. So it's ignoring mm -hmm. armor. Um, and so you sit and you roll 24. three more dice? Three more damage dice, uh, right? Well, I'm, no, I'm using the thing to max it anyway. Okay. I'm using Assassin. So he pulls up behind Thorin, drops this Garrett down, and um, so it's 24 damage, Unforgiving 3. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use Observation to see if he can um, see you coming, um, or notice okay. you coming. Uh, if you want to roll stealth, you can. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I get the one momentum from my... my uh shadow okay. thing plus one momentum i'm gonna use doom i'm gonna use one doom only oh shit no he doesn't see you coming doesn't see you coming so 24 damage you said yep and it's uh unforgiving so it's intense as well The, the Gera is his actual assassin weapon, which is, it's it, it's completely impractical in any kind of melee, but for actually killing one guy, this is where he uses it. He almost never takes this out. No one probably even had any idea he had it. Okay, what does that look like as you kill him? From yeah, behind. so um, <laughs> he strikes against Malik and everything, and in that opening, Haroon, like I said, there's that little shimmer in the air in front of him as he kind of probably sees it drop, and then suddenly there's um, this force against his neck as he's all, almost off the ground a little bit, and suddenly there's this pop, and Haroon just lets go of one end and begins coiling it back around his finger as Thorin slumps to the ground. And Melek just oh, spins. is stopped. This woman comes forward and just looks down at the dead body and then looks at Melek and Haroon and then turns back over her shoulder to Kagan and shakes her head very slowly. I do apologize, but let us be honest, they would not have stopped fighting. Kago would be very defensive and protective of his sister. 
She says, could honestly, he could honestly care less if any of y'all kill each other for the rest of the day, as long as no one comes, <laughs> long as no yeah. one comes near your sister, you're all right. This, this is my caravan. You have killed my caravan, master. Your caravan master. He is where he belongs now. Perhaps you belong there as well. Perhaps I do. I have sinned many times against many gods. And I am sure I will meet him again one day. But I don't think today is going to be that day. She looks at Kagan. And... She says, is this man precious to you? Okay, you gonna look at her and look to Melek. He'll just shrug. Perhaps I will order my brother to put an arrow in your neck. Do you think he would? Kagan cuts a long glance at her, kind of confused, biting his lip momentarily. You are his sister. He has been worried about you. He has been looking for you. And I him, and that is why we are here. Indeed. This is most interesting, because the story we heard would not put you as ruler of this caravan. I have a feeling there is something else going on here, is there not? Perhaps we should uh, smooth things over, over this. Regardless, I am at your service. I've taken one of your men, and I will stand to aid you to make up for this debt. As you kind of say that, um, now these slave guards are bringing Lamusi back. They finally have caught her. And she kind of steps over Thorin, looks, looking over her shoulder at um, Kagan, maybe expecting him to follow her. And she walks over to Lamusi, and she says, I hear this one is quite the prize. Kagan would quickly retrieve his bow and then double, double step back. Harun kind of follows after quietly. Curious where she's going to go with it. Kagan is always the ever skeptic. He'll step forward to Lamusi and actually tug at her hair and try to rub her face. He goes, if this is even the real one. She looks to her brother and... Yes. Perhaps, perhaps not. Those that tried to bargain her are all dead. And she cuts a glance at Varys. And then back to Lamusi. And Lamusi says, I am... Lumusi, let me go! And your sister walks up and just kind of just smacks her in the face hard, knocks her to the ground, and says, You are mine now. Regardless, we will find out who you are and what your worth is. I don't know if you heard or not. I was going to try to tug at Lamusi's hair and rub her. Oh, hair. yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, yeah. No. It it all appears real. That's definitely her hair. and She is definitely black. Dark of skin. It definitely ramble on in Hakonian to her. Goes, if this is the real one, she is nothing more than trouble. Says, she is of royalty. A whole tribe would be upon you. She looks at Kagan. She says... Is the tribe here? I know some of their number are here, yes. Hey, good thing I have you to protect me, brother. But I have also sworn an oath to your husband, waiting to expect the worst reaction from her. She just kind of looks at you sidelong and shakes her head. Hamwell will release you from your duty to serve me. I will speak to him. I have already spoken to him once. He did not take it well. 
Uh, now, is, is she speaking in Hyrcanian as well? Um, we'll say, did, did you speak to me in Hyrcanian, Kagan? Yeah, yeah. Then, yeah. yes, she is. She's responding in Hyrcanian. But then she. I could try a language roll or linguistics yeah, sure. to a. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. You have cosmopolitan. Have cosmopolitan. If you have cosmopolitan, you can, yeah. Yeah. Nah, not quite. Um, she basically looks at you and she says, I am going to take this one back. And she says in um, Shimatish, this one is mine now. And she begins to drag Lamusi, kind of kicking and screaming back towards the tents. sidelong look at everyone just basically like I'm just as clueless as you are yeah Haroon has a very curious look on his face uh, eyebrow raised and he so would you know, um, oops, sorry just saying as he's going back he'd speak out in common so everybody could understand or whatever it's just it's perhaps both sides need to tend to the wounded. It's just, it's if what you say is true, they could relay a message to Hanwell. I will stay and seek your counsel and then return to them. Mm-hmm. Well, I think I will stay with you for now. I owe your sister a debt. And I am curious to see Lumusi's fate. If nothing else, I have been contracted to guard her in one way or another. So I have a vested interest in this. I would also like to know what exactly is going on. Varus and Malik, what are your thoughts here? Oh, well, after going over my men and <clears throat> collecting anything valuable from them, and I mean, I, I don't think they're going to give me a cart after this shit, so Varus just looks at them both, and... Uh, I have a request of you if you leave this caravan. She pauses and looks at you expectantly. If you're going to burn your dead or bury them, what do you plan to do? We will burn them. I would carry these back to my own camp, but as you can see, and pointing over the wounds, and that I'm out of shape and fat. Um, <laughs> do you mind at least giving these men the decency of being burned? She just nods. Very well. You have my thanks. And then I would walk over to Piter, assuming unobtruded, and relieve him of his head. Oh god. I thought about it too, and I, I wondered if anyone else would. <laughs> yeah, she just kind of watches you do it, but doesn't say anything. Melek? And Melek, he, he, again, he's confused by this this woman and her her seeming authority over this camp. He, he had heard other stories about, you know, Kagan's sister, you know, it just about how she, he thought she disappeared in an accident or was kidnapped or something and for her to turn up as you know a, a kind of a, a leader of this camp is 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 odd and unsettling and Melek uh he just kind of looks over at them Kagan I don't know what is going on here but we will be back we will go consult our employers and find out what it is they would like us to do. But rest assured, we will be back. The the what is it? Uh, what what is what is her race? The princess? Uh, she's a uh, Puntin. The Punt the Puntin girl, the Puntin princess. She will be returned 
to where she belongs. And it is not this slave camp. She looks at Malik sidelong and kind of chuckles. <laughs> this one, this one. I do not think I like him overly much, brother. And Melek turns around, and as he's walking by, he grabs what's his face is battle axe, picks it up off the ground, and keeps walking with Varus. <laughs> oh man! Any final thoughts here? Roleplay. Sagan's response would be basically, "Do what you must, and so shall I." Right now, tempers are still... The fires of our tempers still burn hot. Let the embers cool. Councils will hopefully reveal all. Harun, uh, through the whole thing, is all courtesy and smiles. <laughs> I mean, he got the master, so he gives no shits at this yeah. point. It's like saving Lamusi somehow will be a plus of anything, so. So the slave guards that are remaining, which um, after a while, uh, more come from different parts of the camp. Um, and they come in to basically secure all these slaves. You see all these slaves being brought back now. Um and Malik and Varus kind of stand over Piter's dead body with his head now probably in a sack of Varus's of some sort. Uh, Myrta um, helps secure Lamusi as she waves Kagan to her tent to Haroon. She says, stay here if you want. Do not cause trouble. Harun gives her a, a curt bow. I will not be a problem. I think I will make myself familiar with the camp. As I said, I owe you a debt. Perhaps I may be able to find some work here. I have a feeling my previous employer may not be too happy with me. <laughs> she kind of uh, scoffs a little bit and walks towards her tent. As she does, she pulls back the flap as she and Kagan enter and the screen goes black. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah.